I use a sauna in my weight loss journey and it has been amazing. It's part of the reasons why I was able to lose weight and on top of that, maintain a healthy body, healthy skin, healthy joints. The benefits are amazing. It even goes all the way to your mental health. So today I'm gonna teach you guys how to use a sauna properly and efficiently so you can get all those benefits and more. And on top of that, I'll teach you guys the exact protocol that you can use to get all these benefits. My ancestors and a lot of other people's ancestors knew for a long time the benefits of heat on the body. But recently, there has been a study that came out of Finland where saunas are very popular and the people are very healthy that proved this on a scientific level. This study from Finland doubled down on this information with the scientific backing and showed that prolonged and consistent use of saunas resulted in a lower risk of death from cardiovascular disorders, sudden cardiac death, and even strokes. On top of that, it also lowered the risk of dementia and Alzheimer's disease, which means that you can maintain your mental capacities for longer throughout your life. In totality, it lowered all-cause mortality by 40%. All-cause mortality means like anything that can cause you to pass away earlier. First, let's get into the cardiovascular benefits. Using sauna helped lower cholesterol. Now remember, the cholesterol levels in your body and dietary cholesterol are two totally different things. A lot of people think that eating high cholesterol foods like eggs will result in you having high cholesterol in general. This is not true, especially if you live a healthy lifestyle. Matter of fact, I'll double down and I'll say that eggs are one of the healthiest things that you can eat because it is very nutrient dense, and it's high in protein. Saunas also help reduce hypertension. Now hypertension means your blood pressure is through the roof. This can be a result of a variety of different issues, but this can help lower your hypertension. Overall, it improved your cardiovascular fitness, which means you can continue to do the activities you love, like walking, running, pounding your partner, if you know what I mean, with more ease. And what's even more beautiful is that a combination of sauna and exercises have a synergistic effect which means that the other helps the other and the sum of the one and one is not two, it's 50. I personally love doing a quick sauna session, like five minutes before I lift to really warm up the joints and get the blood flowing. And this actually helps me work out with less injuries and feels less stiff during the actual exercise itself. After I work out, I do my longer sauna session, but let's not get into details right now. We'll get into that later. Let's get into the brain and mental health portion of sauna use. Like I mentioned earlier, sauna usage can decrease the chances of you getting dementia or Alzheimer's disease. Now, it's not a small percentage either. It's a whopping 66%. Incredible. The mechanisms behind this benefit is not 100% clear, but some of them are very amazing as well. For example, when you go into the sauna, it releases something called a heat shock protein. Now, what the heat shock protein does, it is scours your body for any oxidative damage. The heat shock protein can also prevent protein aggregation and the buildup of plaque, which can harden your arteries, which means less elasticity in your arteries means you have a higher risk of catching a stroke and less blood flow to the brain. On top of that, the usage of saunas has been shown to have an antidepressant effect, and this can last up to six weeks after the usage of a sauna. Pair that with the benefits of exercise, studies have shown that exercising actually can act as a mild antidepressant, and you'll be a happier guy, or girl, or girl. Let's get into the detoxification of the body. Sauna usage can facilitate the excretion of heavy metals and toxins through the mechanism of sweating. On top of that, it increases endurance of your muscles and it can help delay muscle atrophy. Now, as you age, your muscles will obviously go through atrophy. Atrophy is the degradation of the muscles. And that's why when a lot of people get older, they lose a lot of muscle mass and gain a lot of fat. To round it all off, sauna usage activates the stress response pathways. This includes the antioxidant, the anti-inflammatory, and the autophagy pathways. Autophagy is basically when your body cleans out any dead, weak, dying cells in your body. Think of like spring cleaning, but for your body. All right, so let's get into the protocols. Let's talk about the optimal session for sauna. According to this study, 57 minutes a week is the sweet spot, usually divided into two to three sessions between 10 to 15 minutes. Now, 
there has been a lot of benefits also shown in longer sauna sessions. For example, I've tested two different time frames. I've done the 10 to 15 and then I've done the 25 to about 35 minutes. I did feel a lot better and I did recover quickly from workouts using the longer sauna method of around 25 to 35 minutes. I would only do that about one to two times a week. So it's less frequently, just longer duration. But if you're a beginner, I highly recommend you stick to the 10 to 15 minutes spread among two to three sessions the week. This way you can still get the hormetic responses that you are trying to induce. And on top of that, you can still get the mental benefits as well. If you want to take this another level, you got to do the two extremities. Okay. In a lot of cultures, they do heat exposure, then cold exposure. Now the cold exposure would be significantly less. It would be around 11 minutes throughout the duration of the week. This means you can do an ice bath, but ice baths are expensive. Instead, you can utilize a salad bowl, preferably metal. You fill it with ice, you fill it with cold water, and then you dump your face inside of that for about 10 to 15 seconds. It's a lot harder than you think because you're like, hey, I could hold my breath on the water for three minutes. It's much different when the water is freezing cold. You do that for about 10 to 15 seconds. You take a small break and you repeat it three times and you do that three, four times a week. It feels so good. You might do it every day because it's literally better than a cup of coffee, but I recommend you start off with about two to three times a week. Now, hope this helps because I know it will. So it's going to be up to you to actually implement this and stay consistent if you want the long-term results. If you have any questions, any concerns or considerations, don't hesitate to leave it in the comment section below. Love y'all. My name is Ms. Jillian, AKA Brown Rice Bandit. I will steal your rice. Do not ever forget that. Come back for the next one. Peace.